Finally, politics is a serious business, but it is surely good for democracy and for voters' spirits that every once in a while a work of satire pokes fun at our elected leaders. The latest has been written by ITV's own Harry Hill. According to the PR blurb, it charts how a long-haired hippie and would-be pop star became a warmongering multimillionaire. Not quite how his allies, supporters and voters saw it, but guessed already? But it this way, Harry isn't expecting Sir Tony Blair to come and see himself portrayed on stage anytime soon. Tony Blair has inspired books, dramas, documentaries. Now he is the subject of a rock opera opening in London's West End. And then heading out on tour. For its writer, the former Prime Minister was an obvious muse. He's in a band. That's really the reason for making it a musical. He's in this band, Ugly Rumours, at college. It's not going to be a history lesson. Anyone coming expecting a history lesson, you're not going to get that. All the facts are there, not necessarily in the right order, or in fact, facts. <laughs> Tony Blair and New Labour swept to power in 1997. Then came a decade which included war in Iraq, making him one of the most controversial prime ministers of recent times. There's a lot of heavy stuff in that. There is. I mean, and how do you bring that to the stage in a way that's going to make people laugh? It's a difficult line to tread. Mm. You know, we have to include Princess Diana, we have to include Osama bin Laden, Saddam Hussein. And when we first did those things, you could sense the audience tensing up. But now we've got Saddam Hussein playing it as Groucho Marx. You know, he's got the moustache and the eyebrows and the... And somehow we get away with it. That's all I can tell you. And we're not setting out to offend. We are setting out to entertain primarily. The publicity machine went on the road around Westminster today. When the rock opera goes out on the road, the dates include a performance in Sedgefield, Blair's old constituency. What could possibly go wrong? Is Tony Blair aware of this uh, uh, representation, this homage or whatever on stage that we, you've given him? We always put two tickets on the door for Tony Blair. So far he hasn't picked those up. I know it's his birthday, his 70th birthday next week. So what better way to celebrate Tony than to get two tickets for a musical, which is in many ways a tribute to you. Call me. <laughs> He's probably washing his hair that night. Nina Nanart, News at 10 in central London.